as you get up and go, got up and went, do you feel like you were born tired? Hello, my dear friends. Thank you for joining us at the Healthy Corner. Are you a spectator in the game of life because you are too tired to be a participant? Do you run out of energy in the afternoon and want to crawl back in bed or do you keep reaching for that extra cup of coffee thinking it will perk you up? And you keep saying to yourself, why am I so tired? Maybe this sounds like the beginning of a commercial for one of those high-flying energy drinks, but if you are one of the growing numbers of individuals suffering from chronic fatigue, you may no longer be amused. It has been a long time since you have felt rested or had the energy to do anything, but don't despair. You may be at the right place at the right time. Help is available. Have you ever heard or been told you that might have chronic fatigue? Chronic fatigue is not an age-related issue. However, you will find that more women are affected by chronic fatigue due to a hormonal imbalance, especially women in perimenopause and menopause. Unfortunately, many women going through that phase of their lives are told that they are not a spring chicken anymore and sent home without any hope. I have been finding more middle-aged and older men starting to feel the effects of chronic fatigue. I wonder if it has something to do with their hormonal imbalance. There is controversy because chronic fatigue is one of the most prevalent complaints that occur in a physician's office and physicians have no particular cause of the disorder. Therefore, it isn't clear-cut what the cause or legitimacy might be for chronic fatigue. Since there doesn't seem to be any known cause for the disorder, it has now been termed chronic fatigue syndrome. In other words, no known causes, but it exists and the healthcare professionals can't vouch for its legitimacy. There are many different theories surrounding chronic fatigue syndrome. A complaint of chronic fatigue syndrome may be a sign the individual suffering from some sort of atypical psychiatric disorders and should be referred to a psychiatrist or is it a likely number of <clears throat> undifferentiated illnesses that are exceedingly difficult to distinguish from depression? Or is it a shiny new name such as fibromyalgia? Back in 1869 it was originally called neurasthenia which was described as a syndrome of chronic mental and physical weakness and fatigue, supposedly caused by exhaustion of the nervous system. In 1993, the CDC gave a definition of chronic fatigue syndrome that makes no sense at all. So, the confusion goes on and on. I wonder if this might be a functional disorder or a nutritional problem. So, let's take a look at some of the possible underlying causes of this mysterious disorder called chronic fatigue syndrome. Number one, a hormonal or endocrine imbalance, disruption of sleep, worry, anxiety, and some signs of depression keep many women of all ages on an alert status and may be the cause of tossing and turning every night and those night sweats. They all lead to inevitable fatigue for the body. Just a note, men are not exempt from some of these issues. Eventually, these issues wear on the adrenals and you end up with adrenal insufficiency. Better than 50% of all chronic fatigue syndrome sufferers are due to adrenal insufficiency. The adage usually holds true when you hear hoofbeats, look for horses first, not camels. Most of the above issues come about by poor diet and nutrition brought about by yo-yo dieters, no fat and low fat diets, and high carb eating programs. As a result, many individuals will suffer from insulin resistance. 
which interferes with the body's ability to metabolize properly and utilize the influx of glucose. Number two, the immune system. Many individuals suffering from chronic fatigue syndrome have been found with varying degrees of immune system dysfunction. Number three, reactive hypoglycemia. The relationship of reactive hypoglycemia to chronic fatigue syndrome can be linked to blood sugar levels. And if that is the case, the digestive and endocrine systems are always involved. There are other indicators of chronic fatigue syndrome such as impaired Krebs cycle, electromagnetic fields, and lingering viral conditions. Many of the key indicators for chronic fatigue syndrome are linked to a condition known as fibromyalgia. The effective recommendations are many times identical. You are wondering, what can I do? There are some simple guidelines such as get adequate rest, work with body rhythms, avoid undue mental and emotional stress, eat properly, moderate exercise, and avoid sugar, caffeine, nicotine, alcohol, and artificial sweeteners. We at Capture Health have had great success in helping individuals overcome the effects of chronic fatigue syndrome. In fact, increased energy levels are usually noticed after we develop a corrective personal program. Through the healthy community at Capture Your Health, we can help you develop a personal program that promotes a balance in your body chemistry with corrective nutritional supplements a dietary and lifestyle guidance, and personal guidance through your wellness journey. It is convenient and in the comfort of your own home. To learn more about a personal program that will help you find the cause of your specific health challenges, go to Capture Your Health, fill out the health assessment form, and find out what's happening with your body. Thank you for being with us at the Healthy Corner. This is Bud Torito. Have a wonderful day.